So it's in the song, I Stole Your Love, which by the way, they opened with that when I saw them for the first time on the uh, Hot in the Shade tour. And Bruce Kulik, who was uh, in the band at the time, was playing the solo and I actually contacted him. And I said, okay, after I do this video, I'm gonna see if I can get a guitar lesson with him and see if he has any tips for me, even though I think I have it figured out, but we'll see. So I love the song, I Stole Your Love. And I found out that the first half is actually Paul Stanley playing and the second half is Ace. And you can kind of tell when you listen to it. So here's Paul's part. <laughs> Pretty straightforward, very melodic, just like Paul Stanley would play. He's a very melodic dude. Okay, now we get to the ace part. You can kind of hear it right off the bat with these half-step pre-bends. All right, that's pretty much how I had it figured out. And now here is the lick that gave me so much trouble. I'm gonna play it slow first of all, and I want you to try it with me. I'll put, put the tab up on the screen. By the way, we're two now and half a step. Fifth string, ninth fret, we're gonna hammer on and pull off to the 11th fret. So we're gonna go. Then go to the next string, the fourth string, and hit the ninth fret. Then we do the same thing on the next set of strings. Next one, the same thing. Final one, we're gonna reach up because we're staying in pentatonic here. And then just do some of these pull-offs. All right, it doesn't seem that hard, does it? Slow is doable. Let's speed it up by a little bit. So we're gonna go two, three, four. Now going faster than that is where I started to fall apart. I thought there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this at the full tempo, 192 beats a minute, if I can't even do it at that speed. But then I found a really cool hack and it was more out of desperation than anything. I think I was frust flustered a little bit and frustrated. So I actually kind of reverted to this old thing I used to do where I would rest the pick on the string, which kind of makes things staccato, but it made it playable. So check this out. I don't know why this works for me, but it does. Okay, so at the very end of that, I just fluttered twice really fast, hit the next note, and then killed it right away by touching the pick on it. Now, because I do that, I feel like I'm not floating in the air anymore. And that's a good feeling. It's like I'm grounded finally. There's some traction. And that allows me, because I jam my pick back down, to pick again for the next set of trills. So here's what I get. So here's 192. Okay, I barely got through it, but it was a lot quicker and I was able to feel like I was connected to the strings. Instead of hoping that my trills land in time, I let my pick do all the directing. Let's put it to the actual track and see what it sounds like. <laughs> I got through it, but I could tell I don't have it nailed because I tensed up quite a bit to get through that. But uh, at least that little microscopic hack that I developed is getting me through at full speed. So I guess we'll see you guys after the Bruce Kulik uh, lesson and I'll show you what happens. All right, thanks for watching.